Hey guys, what's up? This is Matthew Davis, the movie lover here. Welcome back to another movie review, aka okay, after I saw this weekend, I saw two movies. I saw Daddy's Home 2 and Murder on the Order Murder on the or Orient Express. Um, which of course I'm reviewing right now. And uh, uh, before I get into it, today marks six years of me making videos on YouTube. I had another channel back in 2011, November 2011, called the Catch Me Out 64, where I did my old maybe trippy videos. So, um, yeah, I just want to tell you guys about that. Usually I would say something like that in my in a video of Chat with Matt or something, but yeah. Also, um, also if you saw my last Chat with Matt video, you know um, I haven't been feeling well lately, but, um, I'm starting to get a little bit better. I've been getting really sick a lot lately, and, um, but don't worry, guys, I will be getting better pretty soon, so, uh, yeah, anyways, uh, so, Murder on the Orient Express. This is a remake directed by, uh, Kenneth, uh, Braniff. Sorry if I pronounced his last name wrong. Um, he both directed and stars in this movie, so, uh, yeah. Um, I watched the original film, uh, last night, um, and it was pretty good, and it, um, this film certainly has some changes, but it does have some stuff that was, um, in the original film, so, Murder on the Orient Express, um, tells the tale of 13 strangers stranded on a train where everyone's a suspect, one man must race against time to solve the puzzle before the murderer strikes again, so, um, so this has an all-star cast again. Kenneth uh, Branagh, who plays the world, who's known to be the world's greatest detective, and uh, also this is also starring Penelope Cruz, Will Willem Dafoe, who was I think he was from Platoon, and um, Judy Dench, Johnny Depp, and uh, many more. Now I was really curious to see um, what Johnny Depp could do. And apparently he isn't in the movie that much, because, um, but, uh, there's actually kind of a reason for that, but I'm not gonna explain why. Um, but everybody, it has a solid cast with some really solid performances, especially, uh, Kenneth Branagh as, uh, Hercule, uh, Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I forgot, uh, I don't know how to pronounce his name, but, uh, yeah, we got a solid cast, and, um, uh, Kenneth, Kenneth Branagh does a really got a good job directing this movie, and it certainly has a very well-toned style to this movie, and even though it doesn't have, uh, the best characters, per se, I can say his character is probably the most memorable and pretty much the best thing about this movie. He gives a solid performance, and, um, I'm not sure if he was in any other movies, but he was certainly known for directing. He directed, uh, the first Thor movie, and, uh, the live-action Cinderella movie, and a few more, um, I can't really think on the top of my head right now, but yeah. This is, like, ten minutes less longer than, uh, the original Murder on the Orient Express, and, uh, this certainly does have a well-done tone and cinematography and visuals. It feels like something that might be pretty Oscar-worthy in the next Oscars or something. That's certainly, I know, what will be nominated for. At least from what I think. Also, the costume designs are very well done. Um, the f um, the first beginning part of the movie, I would say, is the most slow part. But it certainly picks up, um, you know, as soon as the train is moving. Because, um, there's a part where this train stops for, like, the rest of the film until it starts moving again. I felt like I was actually on a train. I felt like... You know, on the big screen, I felt like I was actually on a train. Like, because I've never been on a train. Like, um, I mean, I have been, like, in a subway car or something, but not an actual train. But, but my experience with this, it made me feel like I was actually on a train right now. Which feels really good. And, um, for a story that, um, isn't really cliched per se, um, 
I mean, it is taken from the from the original film, but uh, for the most part, I actually didn't mind uh, uh, this film. I was really looking forward to it, and um, even though it wasn't quite what I wanted it to be in um, a, mo a lot of scenes, or not a lot of scenes, some scenes, but um, this was certainly an enjoyable film. I'm going to give it a 4 out of 5. I thought it was a good film, for the most part. Um, when I went to go see this, there was a pretty big amount of people going to see it, but I felt like there was more people when I went to go see Daddy's Home 2, which I'm going to be reviewing next. But yeah, um, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys later. We're out.